As we already know, one of the main ambitions of businessman Elon Musk and NASA is to bring human life to Mars. An eternal competition makes Musk want to take the lead, but it is time for the businessman to stop. And it is that after this amazing discovery by NASA, it will completely affect their plans to colonize Mars. They say that brilliant minds think alike, so the brightest minds at NASA and SpaceX pursue the same goal of landing humans on the planet Mars. However, the time frames and scale with which both work companies are totally different. NASA plans to send a couple of astronauts to Mars around the year 2030, while businessman Elon Musk prefers to send many more people to the Red Planet and as soon as possible. However, it is time for Musk to pay attention to the recent discoveries of NASA on this planet, since they directly affect their plans. Mars is quite an interesting planet, and NASA has made tremendous efforts to study it for many, many years. The space agency has sent a total of five rovers to Mars, including Sojourners, Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance. This has helped them expand their knowledge of the planet, but as NASA rovers evolve, it becomes clear that there is much to learn about the Red Planet. Of those five rovers, only two from NASA are still active, Curiosity and Perseverance. China also has its own rovers, called Jurong. NASA does not yet have the ability to send a human being to Mars and ensure their return alive, because it does not have all the answers to the problems that all astronauts on the planet could face, including high levels of radiation, serious problems, the long travel time to get there, among others. NASA doesn't even have the technology to bring them back home, yet the rovers allow NASA to explore Mars at relatively little cost and with no risk to humans. Curiosity arrived on Mars in 2012 as part of NASA's Mars Science Mission. This rover still holds the record for the largest rover ever built in terms of size, although the photos make it seem small. Curiosity is 3 meters long, 2.2 meters high, and 2.7 meters wide. Basically its proportions are similar to those of an all-terrain vehicle. Curiosity has been traversing the terrain of Mars since 2012 traveling more than 16.8 miles or 27.04 kilometers at a speed of up to 30 meters per hour. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Of course Curiosity is not always on the move. Unlike previous ones that were equipped with solar panels, Curiosity has a radioisotope power system equipment that produces electricity from the heat of the radioactive decay of plutonium. The rovers can take fabulous selfies. The main aspect of the mission of Curiosity and Mars is to help determine if the planet once hosted life in the form of microbes. In this sense, the Curiosity has fulfilled many discoveries that are shaping vision that scientists have of the Red Planet. The surface of Mars may be too harsh for life now, but scientists suspect that billions of years ago the planet Mars had a climate similar to Earth's, with a denser atmosphere and an abundance of liquid water flowing in rivers and seas. Liquid water is crucial to life as we understand it, which is why scientists believe that life on Mars could have sustained itself on substances such as organic carbon. Carbon is essential for life, so any time we detect a strong source of carbon somewhere like Mars, it could point to biological activity. Carbon is everywhere life can be found. However, there are different types of carbon. Carbon atoms have six protons, but the number of neutrons can vary. Those with different numbers of neutrons are called isotopes. Of all types of carbon, there are three naturally occurring isotopes, C12, C13, and C14. The first two are stable, but C14 is a radionuclide. C12 has six neutrons and is the most common carbon isotope in life. It is found in photosynthesis or in the metabolism of food because it has one less neutron than C13 when it joins other atoms to form molecules a long time ago. Fewer connections than the C13 in the same situation. C14 has eight neutrons. Surely you are wondering why we are talking about carbon isotopes, and this is due to the discovery made in the Gale Crater, 
a critter located on Mars, and it is a place where curiosity has been active since its arrival. Scientists say the sediment formed through physical and chemical weathering of volcanic rocks before settling to the bottom of the lake. Other reasons for scientists to look for signs of life in Gale Crater is that it has been proven that there are sources of chemical energy of low acidity and other elements in addition to carbon, such as oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur, in the place. The Rovers has drilled into the rocks of the crater to extract a pulverized sample that it deposits in its onboard chemical laboratory. The laboratory is known as SAM Sample Analysis on Mars. Inside SAM, Curiosity uses pyrolysis to cook the sample and then convert it into methane. Pyrolysis is performed in a flow of inert helium to avoid any contamination in the process. Then he studies the gas with a tunable laser spectrometer to find out which isotopes of carbon are present in the methane. The Curiosity team studied 24 rock samples and discovered something totally incredible. Six of the samples contained increasing portions of C12 and also C13. They used the portions of C12 and C13 found on the ground as a basis for comparison and found that the Gale Critter sample contained more than 70 pots per 1,000 more C12. On Earth, more than 98.93% of the carbon is C12. C13 is part of the remaining 1.07%. That simply means that if these results were obtained on Earth, they would indicate that a biological process produced the abundance of C12. That is why the discovery was so exciting for scientists. This is how it works on Earth. In the distant past, the bacteria on the surface produced methane as a byproduct. They are known as methanogens and are prokaryotes of the Arachian domain. Today, methanogens can still be found in soil in anadicnochet ales in the digestive tract of ruminants, and in extreme environments such as hot springs. These bacteria produce methane that ends up reaching the atmosphere where it reacts or interacts with ultraviolet light, but the product of these interactions are more complex molecules that would rain down on the Earth's surface and once on the Earth's surface are preserved in rocks along with their carbon signatures. It is tempting to assume that the same process took place on Mars, which would perfectly explain Curiosity's finding in Gale Crater. However, some scientists have other explanations for the discovery of the rover's Curiosity in Gale Crater. One of these hypotheses is called the molecular cloud. The idea is that the solar system passed through a molecular cloud hundreds of millions of years ago. The event is quite rare. But there is evidence that it happens about once every hundred million years. Molecular clouds are made mostly of molecular hydrogen, but the one at hand may have had a higher concentration of the type of carbon discovered by Curiosity in Gale Crater. Mars would have cooled significantly as a result of this cloud, and together with the glaciation would not have allowed the molecular cloud to mix with the rest of the carbon on Mars. The result would only be the increase of the C12 level. However, the hypothesis of the molecular cloud is still very unlikely, although it is totally worth studying. The second explanation has to do with ultraviolet light. The atmosphere of Mars contains more than 95% carbon dioxide, and this theory says that carbon dioxide interacted with ultraviolet light to produce new carbon-containing molecules, which would have ended on the surface of Mars through rain and would have been infused into the rocks. One of the ways that scientists try to establish which of all the theories is correct is by studying the carbon sky of the red planet. But Curiosity will continue to study rock samples and measure carbon isotopes. Scientists will someday have a better chance of appreciating the rocks of Mars when samples collected by NASA's other Perseverance rovers reach Earth. Whatever the origin of the carbon isotope found by the Curiosity, Elon Musk would be personally involved in the result. Although Musk likes science, he is interested in colonizing Mars for other reasons. Musk's ambition is to see humans living permanently on Mars. The businessman is preparing to send up to a million people to Mars, where they will start their new life. This is the main reason for the new Starship rocket that Musk is developing. Mars is a planet with a very hard surface, and for the colonists to survive on the planet, 
Musk must do something. Musk's idea is to make Mars as habitable as planet Earth. But one of the main things missing on Mars that is a problem for humans is a protective atmosphere. But Musk has come up with an idea that we admit is crazy. Bombing the poles. Musk theorizes that attacking both poles of Mars with nuclear missiles will create artificial suns that will heat up Mars, producing an atmosphere similar to Earth's. Well subscribers, this has been all for today's video. Tell us, what do you think about human beings getting to make life on Mars? Let us know your opinion in the comments box. Do not leave without giving us a like, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification